Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for giving us the grace to be able to meet again on the platform of Second Ambassadors. Um, his name we praise forever in Jesus' name. Uh, today we want to pray, um, but then we first want to enlighten ourselves on the need to pray, and our focus will be on praying against the locust, canker worm, caterpillar, and palmer worms. Our text are taken from the book of Joel chapter 1, verse 4, and Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 1, verse 4, and Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Let us pray. As an angel of we thank you for the grace and the privilege you've given us to be among the living. Thank you because you are a good God. We appreciate you. We are adored in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh God, that as we go into the discussion, you will pray with us and you will pray for us in Jesus' name. We pray even as we pray that you answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have answered for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And so just like I said, uh, today we want to pray. I want to pray particularly against the locals, canker worm, caterpillars, and then the palmer worms. But just before we pray, I just want to emphasize the place of um, prayers. Brothers and sisters, it is important for us to know that for us to be successful Christians, or to even remain as successful Christians, we need to always pray. In fact, when the Lord Jesus was on earth, many on many occasions, he Bible makes us understand that he is always withdrawing to pray, and just because he understood the place or uh, the importance of prayer, even as the Son of the Most High God, he was still praying. The Bible makes us understand that he even had to encourage the disciples to also pray. Brother, there is no way we can be successful in this life if we choose not to pray, and that is why the, we must ensure that the altar of our prayer is always active. The altar of our prayer should always be, you know, be, that, be very potent. And I pray that as we pray, the Lord continue to answer our prayers in Jesus' name. We must also ensure that the fire on our altar does not go down. That is why, as Christians, we must always be prayerful. We must always be prayerful. And my prayer is that as we pray, the Most High God will answer us in the name of Jesus. And there's something I also need. We also need to Remember that many times we celebrate the success of our farmers and when they are celebrating the period of harvest, you know, we celebrate with them and we tend to see all that they have been able to produce. But most of the time, we don't, they don't even tell us themselves and what they have gone through on, in the farm. You know, they don't tell us how they have been able to deal with weeds or the challenge that they had with weeds. And all that we celebrate is just the harvest. We celebrate their produce. We celebrate all that they've been able to bring out from the farm. You know, forgetting the fact that they had to deal with the weeds. And this is the fact of life. Most times people actually want to just celebrate success. They don't, in a way, they don't actually care. Uh, uh, they, don't, they are not bothered or they don't even want to know how you have been able to achieve the success. People don't actually want, and people are not actually interested in the process. What they want most times is just the outcome. That is why as Christians, we need to ensure that we pray to remain and to become successful. You know, if we choose not to pray, then we are actually giving the devil or the enemy the permission and to do whatever they want to do. But brothers and sisters, it is important for us to know that God has viewed that you and I become successful. And that is why we cannot afford, you know, not to be successful. Brothers and sisters, it is important for us to pray. And so today, just like I said, we want to pray. And even as we pray, the Lord will help us to be able to pray our right in Jesus' name. But just before then, I'd like to remind us of what is written in the book of Matthew 13, verse 24 to 25. Matthew 13, 24 to 25, it says, Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. This is just saying, this is just portraying the fact that if we choose not to pray, we are actually giving room for the enemies to operate. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. So we need to pray as Christians. We need to pray to remain successful. We need to pray to become successful. We need to pray to be able to see God's mighty hands in our lives and even in our family. And of course, it is also important for us to remember that either we pray or not, the devil is busy working. The enemies are busy working. And that is why we cannot afford 
not to pray. We cannot afford to be quiet or to be to, to be like a seeker at the altar of prayer. And so today we want to pray, but then our focus is praying against and locusts, the canker worm, the caterpillars, and pamamons. And I pray that as we pray, Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Our, our, our second main test is from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. It says, And I will restore to you the year that the locusts, swarming locusts, have eaten, the canker worm, um, caterpillar, and pama worm have eaten. So God has promised to restore us the year that the locusts, the canker worm, and caterpillar, and pama worm have eaten. But then, if God has promised to restore us, then we also should be able to pray for that restoration. We also need to be able to pray against the locust. We also should be able to pray against the caca worm, against the caterpillar, against the palm worms. And that is what we want to do this afternoon. And so, brethren, can we just, you know, pray? I say, Father, Lord, Father, I pray for restoration. I pray that you restore me in the name of Jesus. I pray that you restore my family in the name of Jesus. I put an end to every work of the locust. I put an end to every evasion of the canker worm. I put an end to every work of the caterpillar. I put an end to every devastation of the palmer worms in the name of Jesus. Father, in my family, in my out, in my career, in my home, in my ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus, I put an end to every work of the locust in the name of Jesus. I receive divine restoration on every side. Divine restoration in my health. Divine restoration in my spiritual life. Divine restoration in my finances. Divine restoration in my home. Divine restoration on my partner, on my wife. Divine restoration on my children. Divine restoration on everything that has to do with me and my family and my ministry and my work with you in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we pray even for the ambassadors. We pray for divine restoration. For as many that are listening to us at this time, we pray that divinely you restore us in the name of Jesus. And at the end, let your name be glorified. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining us in praying. But then before we conclude, I just want to emphasize the last part of that text. It says, My great army which I sent among you. It is important for us to know that it was God that sent the locust, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the worm in the first place. Meaning that if our ways are not right with God, you know, we can choose to send all of this. And I pray that this that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. So, brothers and sisters, we want to encourage us that we should maintain a good work with the Lord. We should ensure that our work with the Lord is perfect. We should try to work in righteousness. We should run away from sin and all that has to do with sin. And as we do all of this, the good Lord will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Lastly, it is also important for us that Anyone that chooses not to pray will definitely become a prey. And so that is why we must pray so that we don't become praise of the enemy. And the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. And so just like I said, majorly today is just to encourage ourselves on the need for us to pray. And I, I want to believe that we have prayed. We also want to encourage you to continue to pray against the locust, against the palmer worm, against the caca worm, and against the caterpillar. And as we do all of this, the Almighty God will restore us fully in jesus name if you are listening to us at this time and you are here to accept the lord jesus as your lord and savior this is another opportunity for you to do so i'd like you to remember that jesus can come at any time we have had so many times in the past that people have said it that jesus will come but um, but then some people are thinking that oh, maybe he will not come but i want to tell you that jesus will definitely come although we don't know when he will come but then he said like a thief in the night meaning that it is when you know we least expected that is when it's going to come. In fact, it made us understand, it said like in the days of Noah, you know, when Noah was on earth, he told the people then that there was going to be, a, a flood was going to come. But people doubted him. But what happened? Eventually the floods came and they were destroyed. I pray that we will not be destroyed um, in that name. We will not be destroyed when the Lord comes in Jesus' name. And that is why we want to encourage you at this time to please give your life to the Lord Jesus. Tomorrow might just be today. Some people that have had the year together, they are no longer alive today. That is why I want to encourage you to please have Jesus because Jesus is the solution to that challenge, is the solution to whatever you want on earth, and He also is the solution and the key to eternal life with God. And so, if you want to give a life to the Lord Jesus, can you please repeat this prayer after me? Just Lord Jesus, thank you for all that you came to do on earth. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. 
acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to reign with you. Today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Wash me with my blood and make me right with you. Thank you because you have answered. On the last day, please help me to reign with you. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. So if you have made that prayer with us, I want to congratulate you uh, for making the best decision anybody can ever make. I want to assure you that your name is written in the book of life and also to also encourage you to please walk righteously before God. And now that you are saved, I want to encourage you to please join a Bible believing church and a Bible teaching church where you can also fellowship with other brethren. And please also remember the place of prayer just like we have emphasized and in today's message. Pray to God because prayer itself is a way of communicating with our Heavenly Father. I also want to encourage you to read, your Bible, read the Bible so that we can know the mind of God. It is when we study the Bible that we can know what God wants from us and how He wants us to live our lives. And But then if you don't have a Bible, you can contact us via our email address or via our email address so that we can get you one. And I pray that as we do all of this together, the good Lord will continue to bless us all in Jesus name. So we want to thank you all for listening to us today. It's our prayer that we we'll continue to pray against all the canker worms, against the palmer worms, against the caterpillars, and of course against the locusts. And as we pray, the good Lord will answer us in the name of Jesus. We also want to encourage us to pray for restoration. Restoration in our family, in our homes, in our career, in all that has to do with us, even in our countries. And I pray that the good Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, I want to encourage you to do so, so that together we can continue to grow as second coming of Christ ambassadors. Thank you so much for joining us and today I want to wish you all a very wonderful evening and of course a blessed week ahead. God bless you. Bye-bye.